This is Artifacts of Mars, and here's something a little light. For a change, humans may speak a universal language, say scientists. Now there's a fact I wasn't aware of. Humans across the globe may actually be speaking the same language after scientists found out the sounds used to make the words of common objects and ideas are strikingly similar. Oh, brother. Uh, since I know a few German words in English, what happened before is called past. In German, it's called Bergangenheit. Itself is called German in the English language. In German, it's called Deutsch. Um, color black is called black in English. In German, it's called Schwartz. The word head is called head in English. Uh, in German, it's called Kopf, K-O-P-F, need I go on? And has anybody ever listened to uh, Mandarin Chinese? Does that sound like English? Or any other language? Anyway, the research that looked in the various... Those several thousand languages show that for basic concepts such as body parts, family, relationships, or aspects of the natural world, there are common sounds as if concepts or that are important to the human experience somehow trigger universal verbalizations. The, these sound symbolic p patterns show up again and again across the world independent of geographical dispersion of humans and independent of language lineage, said Dr. Marco Christensen, professor of psychology and director of Cornell's Cognitive Neuroscience Lab. That's all you need to hear is Cornell in the U.S. where the study was carried out. Cornell's bastion of liberalism. There does seem to be something about the human condition that leads to these patterns. We don't know what it is, but we know it's there. Spoken like a true liberal. These people are something else. This... <laughs> The study found that in most languages, the word for nose is likely to include the sound n or u sound as an ooze. Similarly, the word for leaf is likely to include sounds l, p, f, or b. While sand would probably use the sound s. Words for red and round are likely to include the heart sound. It doesn't mean all words have these sounds, but their relationship is much stronger than we'd expect by chance, said, added Dr. Christensen. Other words found to contain similar sounds across the languages include bite, dog, fish, skin, star, water. The associations were particularly strong for words that describe body parts like knee, bone, and breast.
team also found certain words are likely to avoid certain sounds. This was especially true for pronouns. For example, words are for I are unlikely to include sounds involving U, P, B, T, S, R, and I, L. U is unlikely to include sounds involving U, O, P, T, D, Q, R, S, R, and L. Do these people, what do these people get paid? This is your tax dollars go to uh, pay people who think like this. They're cooks! The team, which is included, which include physicists, linguists, and computer scientists, no, they're kooks, from U.S., Argentina, Germany, Netherlands, and Switzerland, analyzed 440 to 100 basic vocabulary words in about 3,700 languages, approximately 62 percent of the world's languages. Researchers don't know why humans tend to use the same sound across languages to describe basic ideas and objects. But Dr. Christian said that the concepts were important in all languages and children are likely to learn these words early in life. Oh, this is just utter BS. I'm not going to suffer fools any longer. <laughs> well, it's good for a laugh at least. These are kooks. They're liberals. Oh boy. If there's one universal language people speak, it's money. Da! I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.